There is no plan to delay the 2020 general election. This from the Prime Minister as he responded to the MP for Shigonas West, Ganga Singh, as he wrapped up debate on the motion to approve an Election and Boundaries Commission report to alter some constituency boundaries. Dr. Keith Rowley said the country has ample time to get ready for a general election, even with the pandemic. I do not know what the opposition's position is with respect to whether or not we can have elections. But I'm saying to this country now that as of today, we have taken no decision, no consideration as to postponement of any election in Trinidad and Tobago, because an election for Christmas is always a good thing in Trinidad and Tobago. Earlier in the debate, MP for Shigonas West, Ganga Singh, questioned whether the country could host a general election with all of the necessary safeguards during the COVID-19 pandemic. In his contribution, the MP said the legislation was a precursor to the election. The Prime Minister can call an election beyond September until December 23rd. So that is the timeline we have. And that is why I ask the question with respect to the campaign finance reform, what is the legislative pathway for us to get that piece of legislation in place working prior to the general elections of 2020, Madam Speaker. Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has assured that the campaign finance reform bill will be instituted before the 2020 general elections. In the lower house on Friday, he said the current law does not oblige political parties, coalitions or merged political parties to disclose and account for their full campaign expenditure to the Elections and Boundaries Commission or any regulatory body. Also, impractically, even laughably, limits campaign expenditure to 50,000 Trinidad and Tobago dollars in the case of the parliamentary election. He said the changes in the legislation will also see the institution of a national campaign fund to level the financial playing field. The current law does not regulate the role and impact of the media during an election campaign by political parties. The present laissez faire system operates freely to meet the demands of those able to afford the media costs. The reality is that not all political parties and candidates have fair and equitable access to the media for their political campaigns. The current law does not provide alternative sources of funding, such as public funding, to even the playing field for all interested in political office to present their unique political messages to the national voters. The current law does not punish political parties for the misuse and misapplication of funding, which creates the opportunity for corruption and money laundering. Poor regulation creates ample opportunity for abuse of the democratic process and wrongful financial gain. We must ensure that campaign financing is sufficiently regulated and the proposed legislation satisfies this requirement. The Prime Minister is also confident that campaign finance reform will prevent another Cambridge Analytica. This kind of activity could have happened to such a detriment, but there was no requirement in law to record the actions of individuals or organizations and no accounting for the expenditure. This is the 21st century, Madam Speaker, and without the necessary appropriate reforms, we are babes in the woods, exposed to the ravages of hungry wolves of home and abroad. Dr. Ali said all registered political parties will be entitled to receive some element of state funding. The EBC, he said, will be responsible for the administration of a system of allocation and payment of the funds from the Consolidated Fund.